back to another LEGO Star Wars 2014 set review. And guys, this time we have the Kashyyyk Trooper Battle Pack. It is ages 6 to 12. It's number 75035. It contains 99 pieces. And you have four brand new minifigures exclusive to this set. Um, except for the Scout Troopers. Anyhow, guys, um, great battle pack. I'm very excited that LEGO finally has made a great battle pack. It's been a while. I think the last good one was uh, back in 2009-2010, the Clone Troopers battle pack. But uh, this is definitely one of my tops. This is the second, definitely the second best battle pack there, uh, there is out of this wave. Uh, I think the Utapau Troopers definitely makes that number one. Check out that review if you want to hear that, uh, why, why I think of the, um, that as number one. Anyhow, let's get straight into the um, figures, guys. Um, so the first figure is a exclusive figure to this set. It is the um, 41st Elite Clone Trooper. And now these guys were never actually spotted in the Star Wars movies. They actually uh, do exist in the clone waves, and they look really sweet, to be honest. So even though you may have not seen them in the movies, I still think it's a great clone trooper. Uh, now you have dark tan arms, dark tan legs, and then you have this new olive green color that was kind of introduced last year in 2013, 2012. Um, so that's hitting the clone troopers. Under the um, helmet is the regular clone face from 2013 battle pack. It's got a green visor, very cool looking. Um, leg printing, uh, waist printing. Um, or belt printing, I should say. Great, great printing going on here. Torso. And here's the back. Great looking minifigure. Now, you do get, um, for the battle packs this year, we have brand new blasters. You actually get one blaster for all the clone troopers, but I actually put the two blasters, two of the blasters on the um, the bike, um, the, I'm sorry, the speeder, um, the scout speeder. And uh, anyhow, so here's what the gun looks like. Um, so basically, LEGO has introduced a new gun that has a lot of, a lot of playability. The way it works is there is a piece right here, just kind of does that. And it's actually a separate piece. You snap it in when you build the battle pack. And then you just take a regular Lego like stud and you just push this down. And so if I aim it, it actually does a pretty good job of on spot. Now, um, as you can see, I actually lost that stud already. Lego does provide like a lot of extra studs um, in the battle pack. So if you do lose them, you got a lot of extra. So you have a lot of ammo as well. Now, I think the reason why I know a lot of you were very unhappy with this decision of these new blasters um, because they don't look accurate whatsoever here is an accurate blaster right here and this is a clone army custom third party market weapon you can buy this on my minifigs for you site for a dollar that's your choice but anyhow this is an accurate weapon lego is never going to actually make something this detailed reason being they don't really support weaponry and stuff like that. They don't really want to support guns, even though Star Wars has a lot of guns in them. Um, and plus, they wanted a playability in a battle pack, and kids probably wanted to actually have battle scenes, and they couldn't shoot their we uh, weapons, but usually you use your imagination. Anyhow, so LEGO came up with this concept of using these blasters. Um, they're not. They're only used in the battle packs. They're not used in the main sets, at least. So those the weapons still exist around the order weapons, I should say, still exist around. All right, anyhow, let's get to the second minifigure, um, which is the Scout Trooper. Great new, great new figure, love it. It's got leg printing, belt printing, and some really significantly good uh, torso printing. Back printing. Lift up the head, same head. Take a look at the helmet. Some printing on the side of the helmet. Not on the back though, but that's okay. Great, great new helmet. And this is the 41st Elite Scout Trooper, by the way. And they're extremely accurate to the movie version. 
Now, actually, for all of you guys, big fans out there, you actually know that we actually got this figure a long time ago, back in a year called 2005. <laughs> Anyhow, um, and then this new version looks really different compared to the old 2005 Kashyyyk Trooper. I still really like the 2005 Kashyyyk Trooper just because it looks pretty cool, even though, uh, even though it's not really accurate. This one is like 10 times more accurate than this figure right here. Um, but I still really appreciate LEGO's original design, and I will still continue to collect this figure as well as the new one. But they're very, very different looking, but they still look very cool in their own unique way. Anyhow, pretty much the same same guy. Here he is with the blaster. You get two of the same. No difference. All the same head. And, uh, yeah, so let's check out the speeder, Kashyyyk speeder. All right, so it's very small, actually. Like, it can fit just on my four fingers. It's a very small vehicle. Not even as long as all the clone troopers, all the clone troopers lined up next to each other. So it's definitely not accurate in size. Um, but this is a great little battle pack vehicle. I think this is very cool. You can um, you can make a lot of different stuff. You can just use the pieces to build a lot of different stuff. You get a lot of useful pieces. Um, now I think the blasters, these new uh, hand blasters that we get on the clone troopers, I think they look way cooler on the speeder bike. Um, and it's an option to put them on or not. You can just take them off. It's not like it's permanent. But like uh, for example, if I, I and these things are pretty accurate. These new blasters are pretty accurate. So. I give Lego props for the playability out of these things. I mean, you can really shoot um, some guys, and you can turn and twist them on the speed bike. So I think they're way cooler uh, on the vehicle than they are on actually on the clone troopers, to be honest. Anyhow, taking a look at the vehicle, it's very simple. Um, just some seats here. There's not even a control panel or stickers. There's no stickers in this set, so that might excite some of you. And this thing can turn full 360 degrees. There is actually a new piece right here. I found this new piece pretty strange looking. As you can tell, this entire thing right here is a new piece. Um, and then that's just connected. That's what the bottom looks like. You've got a lot of these clear pieces. And yeah, so pretty interesting. That's the new speeder bike. So very simple, very much what you see is what you get. Um, so that's pretty much it to the set. So my opinion, I think this is, again, like I said, this is the second best battle pack, um, Lego has made for this new, uh, winter wave. Love the, fir um, 41st Elite Clone Troopers. They look great. Here's the problem though. They're only, you don't really see these 41st Elite, uh, Clone Troopers on they only are on Kashyyyk so that means all your mocks can pretty much only be Kashyyyk if you want to use these for big armies you're not gonna see like I mean these are I'm definitely gonna buy a lot of these battle packs and make a big army of these guys but they can only be used for Kashyyyk purposes um that's just me being an accurate Star Wars nerd but you don't really have to follow that um, Star Wars has a lot of expanded universe and a lot of comics and stuff, so you can say that, oh, the 41st Elite Clone Troopers go to the other planets and blah, 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 in the Star Wars universe. So, you can argue with my opinion on that if you want to. Um, but, I think the 212th Troopers you get in the Utapau Battle Pack are way more better of an army builder because they go to all kinds of different planets, and you see them, especially in the Star Wars The Clone Wars TV series, a lot. Um, and you see them go to different planets, and so it makes sense that those guys are a much better army, humongous army builder to get over the Kashyyyk battle pack. So, you guys can argue with my opinion about that if you want to. Um, that's what I think. I think the 212th, or the Utapau Trooper battle pack is definitely the number one battle pack. However, I'm still absolutely going to recommend that you have to get four or more of these battle packs. I think you should get four of both this battle pack and the Utapau Trooper battle pack. But I think the Utapau, uh, Utapau Trooper Battle Pack is going to be the better way to go um, if you want more of them. I still think you should just get both of uh, this and the Utapau Trooper Battle Pack. These are definitely the two best battle packs of this way by far. Um, and I think they're really good. Really good. Great figures. Can't complain. 
um the the speeder bike or this thing speeder bike it's not really a speeder bike it's uh like a, there's a specific name that i can't think of right now um but anyhow it's it's a great little set 13 dollars. i think it's worth it 99 pieces this is way better than the death star trooper battle pack that only had 83 pieces um so yeah now the new blasters um again argument arguments can be made about them you know the other blasters are definitely better looking um but you know from a standpoint a lot of kids buy lego it's actually i'm pretty sure their number that it is their main target so i have to admit like if i take this right here and i want to you know if i was back when i was a kid um and i wanted to like shoot one of these guys i would think this would be pretty sweet actually um because you can actually shoot them now you can actually reenact some of the battles um you know before with the regular blasters you just have to imagine you'd have to be like Bew. you have to knock it over yourself so i actually think this playability is a lot better but let me ask you this for everybody's arguing with me about these new blasters please notice that there is no flick fire missiles in the set a lot of battle packs always have flick fire missiles would you rather have these new blasters or would you rather have the flick fire missiles back? Because I think what LEGO is trying to do, they have to have some t sort of playability uh, feature in these sets for kids. So this is their second way of trying to maybe make up for the flick fires. They're still being used in the other sets, but for this set in particular, there is no flick fire missiles. They replaced it with these blasters. So would you rather have flick fire missiles in this set or would, would you rather have blasters? That's what I want you to comment below and tell me. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave it on that. Let me know, guys. I'm sure a lot of people didn't actually think about that, so let me know on your opinion. All right, so here is the box. Um, great looking box, all shiny. They're back to the normal size ba battle pack box, the classic ba battle pack size box. Um, they're not the cut in half short little boxes from last year in 2013. Um, on the back, pretty much just all the action figures, action features, <laughs> excuse me. Um, little action scene right there looks great and uh, yeah I definitely think these blasters look ten times better when you put them on the um, actual vehicles alright guys um, that is about gonna do it if you actually wanna see a giant Lego Kashyyyk mock in the making or a giant Lego Kashyyyk base in the making you should go, go down to my channel below Sarbic Studios just click that name and you can check out my Building Kashyyyk weekly series where I'm going to be going over every step of the way of building this humongous um, 20 base plate uh, mock. And mock stands for my own creation. So if you want to see armies of these guys and you want to see a huge battle, definitely take a look at that series if, uh, if you want to see that. Um, so guys, again, great battle pack. Definitely going to absolutely recommend that you get this. It's a great army builder. It's good to have army clone trooper builder battle packs back. It's been a while, but we're having some good battle packs come back anyhow guys again please um to like this video like this video and definitely subscribe to my channel if you want to see the rest of the 2014 set reviews you can check them all out on this channel and that's about going to do it all right hope you guys have a great day thank you very much for watching don't forget to comment below on your opinion and i'll see you guys later have a great day Bye bye